His garbage is another man's gold. You walk around to the back of any grocery store or, you know, big box store anywhere in the world, and you'll find all these pallets, which are shipping containers, essentially. They're not containers, but it's what you put stuff on to ship, right? They stack Because forklifts yeah. go into the, you know, in between where right. the tines that's go. That's why right it's so narrow. Yep, and that's what they pick up big items on, and uh-huh. you know, things that are delivered like boulders or rocks or appliances, whatever, they come on pallets. So, and where are pallets made, you wonder? Yeah. They're, In Palletville. Palletville. It's a place <laughs> called, welcome to Palletville. Yeah. It's right next to Smallville. It's, it is. It's about a quarter mile from Yeah, there. but, but yeah, it's, it, and, and it, I'll tell you, it's such a great, they're great resources for lumber, free yeah, lumber. right. And people want to get rid of them because they don't want to have them in the back of their property because they take up so much space. And you go there and you say, you know, I don't know if you'd you'd be willing to part with this. And then people are like, oh, that old stuff, please get it out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once you have it, there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. So let's talk about, first of all, where do you find um, these great pallets? Because, yes, you could find it. Well, now that everyone's hearing how great the pallets are, there may be a shortage of pallets behind the grocery stores, but you can find them hopefully there. But there are other places where you could uh, get them, hopefully, if not for free, next to free. For instance, you know, the smaller the business, the easier will be to get the quality pallet. You don't want to get like all rotted pallet because we're talking about we're going to get this pallet and we're going to tell you how to make some great projects like furniture and things you can make with the pallet. We want to have brand new looking pallet. We don't want it to be all wet and moldy no, and icky. No. We want it quality. And, and so, there's so much out there you can find it. I know. So a lot of the larger businesses, uh, they already have processes in place to handle their waste material, right? right? On top of that, for safety and time saving, they're not fond necessarily of letting people come in to take one or two pieces of scrap material. So think smaller businesses, like not not necessarily the big box stores, but maybe the mom and pop hardware store that's just on the corner, you know? And these people don't, like you say, don't have the resources to store it. And so if you go and say, can I please have this or that? They'll say, please take it. You're helping me. That's you know right. what I mean? Because then they don't have to go to the dumpster, and you're saving them time in terms of having to go and haul things away. Yeah, and then you know, by the same, you know, the same token, when you go to the smaller mom and pop stores, maybe you don't have a pickup truck, which I can just throw anything in the back of my truck and drive away. You want, you may want to ask them, look, look, I'm going to come here with a little crowbar and a hammer. Do you mind if I disassemble this because oh, I just want this lumber? That's a good idea so too. You're, so you're sitting behind the store, and you know, you're back there going. <laughs> Pulling the nails right. out. You want to ask arc. them first. You want to ask them first yeah. before you're back there, like you know, making an arc. You know, the, the water's coming. I've got to build an arc. You know, you want to definitely do that. Well, so, you'd be a good guy to know, and just in case that water does come, we'll be uh, safe. Sure. Yeah, we're I'm ready. Not, I can't guarantee it's going to float, but I can certainly. I can get you a cat and a dog right now. That's all okay. I have. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, when you ask, it's all about you know kindly asking and saying, yeah. you know, just because there's pallets piled up against the wall uh, doesn't mean that necessarily it's free for the taking. You, they might not appreciate you just going in, but if you just say, hey, you know, I'm thinking of uh, building a chicken coop or a playhouse for sure. my kids. Could I please do this? Oh, sure. That sounds like a great project. Go right. for it. Right. Exactly. You know? And, and you know, some of the stores now, like you said, they do have recycling programs and people will come and grab these. So before you just start taking it, make sure you yeah. ask them. Yeah. And pallets, because they are one of the hottest materials right now, um, and there are so many, you know, projects, the secret is, you know, almost all of the uh, the reoccurring contracts with pallet pickups and deliveries, you never know what chemicals or materials uh, have been used near or spilled. So we, a lot of times, if you concentrate on the small stores that get a small but steady supply of pallets, like a small garden center or a store, or maybe even mor- motorcycle shops or lawnmower and power sure. equipment yeah. supply stores. You can develop a relationship with these stores and make it almost like, tell you, hey, we got a new shipment of yeah, pallets. Come yeah, back. Yeah. You hey, know? hey, Honda dealer. Listen, I know you got a new three three hundred cc bike coming in, but I got to finish. <laughs> I got to finish remodeling my house, and I need this pallet to make the bathroom. <laughs> That's very. That's funny. basically the conversation. <laughs> yeah, and you'll be able to tell generally if the pallets are treated or not by by looking at the wood. If it's just naturally occurring, you still see a lot of end grain that uh-huh. you know just looks like a raw piece of wood. Then you're safe. If it's if it's got a deeper tone to it, sure. And it's it's sort of uh, you know sometimes you can smell that that smell of of uh, you know what they do with pressure treated wood. It almost has like an arsenic 
Ooh. thing to yeah. it. So Ooh. you want to be careful if you're burning it, for example. Uh -huh. Like our own Peter Montoya, our engineer, loves to take stuff and just burn it at the beach to make bonfires. You got to be Probably careful if it's not, you know, not that it's good. not treated. That yeah, can, yeah. And you could also, you know, look for free salvage materials on Craigslist or even Facebook community pages. Sure. The, I mean, again, this whole thing of pallets is huge. So let's now switch and talk about things we can make with pallets, like this chair that you're loving. Sure. It looks almost like a, well, it is. It's like an Adirondack chair shape. And there's great, there are great plans online to make an Adirondack chair. And, and pallet lumber is perfect to make an Adirondack chair because it's all slat lumber, right? I love Adirondacks because it just fits your hip You know what? Ad you know? The Adirondack chair is probably the most best comfortable, yeah. best designed outdoor chair in the world. And it's just wood. And but, it's just but wood. But, you know, you go, I'm so comfortable because I'm, I'm, I'm tilted in just know, the right way. I know. What is That's that? It? Well, it is. It's that. It's like a chiropractic It's that thing. angle. Yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you, when people build bench seating on a deck, for example, if that angle is right, you're that just deck is hours. like the most comfortable deck you've ever been Like right to. now, we're in these director's chairs, and there's cloth. And you'd think, well, that'd be comfortable for hours. I think that the Adirondack would be more comfortable. I agree. We're you know what we're going to do? We're bringing them <laughs> in the studio. We're going to sit in the Adirondack chairs for crying out loud. I agree with you. And look, on this chair, there's even a beer holder. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> and here's the secret. So you get your pallets. You pull the nails out. You get the lumber from the, Adir from the pallet. You can either cut off where the nails went in to create that square template, or you can use it so it looks more kitschy. It depends on what your vibe is. But basically, you're just cutting off all the ends that have nails or are split or cracked. You can sand them once you get that, that stock of lumber. And then what you have is a bunch of 2x4s, some 4x4 four four posts, also some 1x2 you know, slat lumber that can all be used to create whatever you want from this lumber. So it's great. It's just like a, a stock, a free stock of wood. So let's talk about something else we can make with Adirond. I mean, not Adirond, both pallets. I yeah. love the idea of turning some of this wood into an urban garden. Well, yeah, because what you can do is create basically like a, a, raised garden. a raised garden bed. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? It's, it's, just, it's very simple, but it's an instant container, right? Decorative. Yeah, and so so what we want you to do is imagine that you're not keeping it in the shape of the pallet, but you're actually disassembling it to uh -huh. give raw stock lumber that you can then make anything with that you want. And by the way, when you disassemble it, are there dangerous staples or things Sometimes that are going to Sometimes there's staples. So what you'd want to have is like a pair of needle nose pliers. And maybe wear some gloves or something? Yeah, or? maybe maybe not. Whatever. Or not. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> depends. I mean, if you've got hands that are soft and Gentle you just hands. had your nails done. Yes, the Manny petty yes. Okay, thank yeah. you. Me, I don't have, I just okay. have stumps. You know, okay. they've, they've been they've been through the the war, so they're fine. Okay. So ba basically, you're going to want to have needle nose pliers. You're going to want to have a hammer with a, a, a claw end, so you can pry the nails out, get them all out, start over, and then and then that's where you start from. Okay. And then take the nails and put those in a little container, and then maybe even you know you probably don't reuse the nails, but yeah, you just throw that in the garbage. What about turning this into a nice pet bowl stand? Oh. It's almost like a mini bench. Well, because I don't want my dog Hazel to have to bend over to right. drink her water. I know. I've got a little area where it's, it's just a tiny little raised, raised thing. Yeah. She just walks right up to it, and her head is straight, not bending Perfect. ever, ever again. My, no more adjustments needed. Not but, her. Yeah, she's doing great. She's going to drink from a standing <laughs> position and be completely in comfort. But we could just take the pallet, disassemble it, and then reassemble it. And create, like, a you know, measure your dog's head height. Uh-huh. And then you just bring it up with the bowl included. So she just has to walk over, and there it is. Done. See, it could be both. Wait, are you telling me an hour has just gone by? <laughs> it has. That's how fast But we have more went? to talk about, as always. Oh, and check man. us out on our website, yourhomewizards.com. The shows are always there. Quickly, if you listen to again and to read the articles and all that good stuff. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards.